Every human being on earth has the right to live. In order to live, we need to breathe clean, fresh air. We need to drink clean, fresh water, and we need to eat healthy, natural food without man-made additives, chemicals, and pollutants in it. And we need to live in harmony with plants, herbs, trees, and animals, just as the great creator intended. Rotating, seeding, growing, and harvesting our crops in tune with Mother Earth and her natural timing. Every human being has the right to earn a living wage to support their family and loved ones in the companies and chosen career paths that they decide without being cancelled, penalised and being unfairly treated and singled out. Imagine what we can create when we all come together and cooperate. I've seen how small communities survive year after year and generation after generation through kindness and cooperation. John grows tomatoes. His harvest is ready, but he can't pick all his tomatoes by himself. He needs the help of his neighbours so he can get his crop in on time. The neighbours willingly help. They want John to get his crop in on time. John has plenty of tomatoes for his family. In fact, he has too many. What he can't use, he distributes to all the neighbours that have helped him get his crop in. He is happy. The neighbours are happy. It costs nothing in monetary terms and is a win-win situation. George grows broccoli. He's managed to get his harvest in, but has so much broccoli, more than he needs. However, he does need some cabbages. Mark grows cabbages and has more cabbages than he needs. He would love to have some broccoli though. He gives George his excess cabbages and George in return gives Mark his excess broccoli. Both are happy and it's a win-win situation. Antonio, Julio and Pepe have a small plot each and grow olives. However, a certain amount of olives are needed in order to process them into olive oil. On their own, they don't have enough olives, but they decide if they put all their olives together, they will have enough to process and make extra virgin olive oil. They divide the nectar between the three of them and all three are happy. It's a win-win situation. Tim has a workshop. Tinkering with engines and parts has been his passion since he was a small boy and he absolutely loves it. He's learned a lot over the years, so when Oliver asked for his help, he was more than happy to oblige. Oliver was trying to plough his land, but his plough had broken. It just wouldn't work anymore. Tim saw what the problem was straight away. He managed to fix it, and Oliver was able to get his seeds planted on time. Oliver was really grateful. He had a bumper crop that year and had more than he needed for his family and loved ones. He hadn't forgotten how Tim had helped him, so he took the excess crop to Tim to thank him. It was a wonderful surprise for Tim, and they agreed that they would cooperate together for the future. Both were happy, and it was a win-win situation. With cooperation, kindness and love, we can achieve great things if we all stand together. It starts with one person, and then two. It then becomes a small group and then a community. Two communities then cooperate together until it becomes a region. And from there, entire countries can communicate and cooperate together peacefully, respectfully, and in harmony with Mother Earth. A win-win situation for everyone. <laughs>